Hey, welcome to Stupid Food Review Show. I'm your host, as always, Jason the Tortilla. Tahin! It's on everything. Um, Frito-Lay loves to live, use it on a lot of their snacks. They're all, it's all over the internet. So I got a little $1 bottle of tahine, and I'm going to try it on an apple. Apple's apple, baby. This is a uh, Honeycrisp, delicious, by the way. Delicious apple, and I mean, just you cannot improve on a Honeycrisp. But we're gonna put a little bit of tahini on it and see what it's like. I do like exploring new flavors. doesn't have much of a scent. Chili pepper, sea salt, and citric acid. That's basically the main components. But it's like chili peppers and lime. I guess. And this is something that they... Um, a lot of people that do like tahine seasoning do use it on eating on an apple. So I'm going to take a bite, pierce the skin, expose the flesh, and sprinkle some on. All right. Now that's goddamn delicious. That's a Honeycrisp apple. Not too sweet. Not too sour. That's delicious. Okay, here we go. I bought a one dollar bottle of tahini. And let's see what's gonna happen. There we go. That's horrible. Wow. Wow. I don't know why I would want to put a ton of salt on a... Oh, my goodness. I'll try to finish this bite up. Mmm. No offense. I know people love to eat. I would put it on like tacos and fajitas. We made chicken fajitas just the other day. I would proudly put this on. I would never put this on sweet. It doesn't make any sense. But that's all right. Tastes are different all over the world. Whoa. Wow. We're just going to have to put this in the back of the cupboard and break it out for tacos or whatever. There you go. I was very curious about the tahine flavor, and I am not curious about it at all anymore. The apple was delicious. But there you go. Tahine. Get to five. I don't know. Love you guys. Love you, babe.